How's it going everyone? I'm back out in the kayak again today doing a little spring fishing. I'm in North Dakota for this trip and I think it's going to be kind of a catch anything that bites kind of day today. I'm hoping I can find my first smallmouth bass of the year but the water temperature is still a little bit cold. It's going to be in the low 50s I think by the time my fish finder acclimates to the water temperature. But this lake has a variety of species. We've got walleye, pike, muskie, crappie, smallmouth bass, white bass. So I'd be pretty happy if I could find any of those. It's just a good day to be out here on the water. Right now I'm working my way up to where a creek flows into this lake. The air temperature is slightly warmer than the water temperature and the sun has been peeking out from behind the clouds every now and then so it might be a little bit warmer in there. I figured we'd head up there throw some jig and jerk bait around and see if any fish are feeling hungry. All right, I made it over here to where the creek flows in. I figured I'd come over here and try off of this point to start off. There's a lot of rocks up there. Looks pretty good. Then we'll work our way into there. See if we find any... Oh my gosh, something just nailed it. Oh, what was that? Was that a smallmouth? It was big if it was. Staying down, that might be a pike or something. This is big, whatever it is. What is this? Please be a bass. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's a big pike. Well, yeah, I'll take that to start off the day. He came up and splashed. I thought he was a smallmouth. I just really hope I've got him hooked in a good spot because I'm not using a leader today. Oh, he's got my line through his mouth. He's just gonna take me where he wants to, I think. That is a monster pike. I hope I can get him in. Come on back here. Oh, he's got to be getting tired. Oh, right into the net. How do you like that? Well, thank you for being cooperative. I just gonna jump right out. Oh my gosh. Look at this fish, you guys. That is a freaking beast of a pike. First things first, I'm gonna get my hook out of him. Jeez, look at the size of that thing. 
That is a monster. Wow. Oh, my leg's gonna be soaked, but at least it's not soaked in the Pike crap. That pike had to be close to 40. I didn't even think of measuring him, but he had to be close. High 30s at least. I'm gonna get my jig retied here because he chewed up my line pretty good. Cut off about six inches of that. He had that line all wrapped through his mouth too. I'm surprised he got that fish in. Let's get it back over there. So before that pike so rudely interrupted me, I think I was saying that we'll work our way into this creek, see what we can find. I might sit here and fish off of this point for a little bit though. See if there's any more active fish over here. I'm not in a hurry. We've got five, six hours until sunset. If we're catching them, I'll stay out here all day. There we go. What do we got here? It's another one kind of right over where I hooked into that pike over there. It's another pike. Yeah, another pike. A little bit smaller one. Hey, the pikes are active though. A little bugger. Give me my jig back and we'll send him on his way. Nice. <laughs> Ew, they're so slimy. I better check the line on that jig too. Well, that one was hooked in a good spot. Nope, he didn't get me. There's one. Let's see what we got here. It's another pike. Come on. Ooh, it's nice, whatever it is. I'm guessing pike. Big head shakes. It's either a pike or a muskie. I can see that much. Looks like a pike. Hey, the pike are biting today. Oh, look at that. The jig just blew out of his mouth. Right as I got him in the net. Come here, bud. Nice, healthy looking pike.
Ooh, whatever that is, thumped it good. No, that's not a pike. That's a wally. Come here, buddy. Come here, dude. Wow, look at that. That's the beauty of a wally right there. Yeah, getting a little variety out here. Geez, that walleye crushed that jig though. I thought for sure that was gonna be a smallmouth. That's good to see though. That means that they're pretty active when they're hitting it like that. Something just bumped that jig. Oh, it came back for it. He's chasing it, I think. Come on, take it one more time. One more time. I'm gonna get you this time. He's like, no. That's right, we're gonna throw it right back over there. It's a weird feeling bite. Got him that time. All right, if he didn't come back for it, I was just gonna say it was a bullhead, but. <laughs> hey, that's a little smally. Come here, little buddy. Hello there. Look at that. Oh, that is my first smallmouth of the year. It sure does feel good to hold on to one of those again. Oh, he bit the tail off my little swim bait there. You know what I bet happened? I bet a pike came and bit that first. And this guy came in for the rebound. Well, heck yeah. It's been a good day so far. A couple of pike, walleye. Now a smallie. These fish are starting to get active. I did try about a dozen casts with that jerk bait. I didn't get any action on that, but I'll probably still throw it every now and then today. So far, everything has been on the jig. I'm using a quarter ounce Kalen's Google Eye jig. And here he's got a little rattle in there. And I've got a walleye assassin, the little boss for a trailer, a little paddle tail minnow looking dude. So far today, that's what I've got all my action on out here. So I'm gonna keep throwing it because that's where my confidence is at right now with that little guy. I think there's more than just that bass over here. Could have just been that bass. Bit short first, bit his tail off, and then hit it again. But I have caught a couple of pike right along this grass, or these cattails, whatever they are. You never know, there could have been a pike hanging out with that bass. It's <sighs> one reason why I like fishing this lake. Great variety of fish out here. You never know what you're gonna catch out here. Usually it's the opposite of whatever I happen to be targeting. That's why today I was like <laughs> fishing for whatever bites. <laughs> It's just nice to be out here. Perfect day to be out here in the kayak. 
There we go. There's another one. Another little bass. It's a little guy, but hey, some action. Look at that. He even self-released for me. Don't have to slime up my hands or nothing. Well, I've been on here about an hour so far. We've got three different species. That pike was definitely a quality fish. So was that walleye. That walleye was really nice. Let's see what we got here. This feels like something decent. Ooh, it's another smallie. This maybe a little bit nicer. Oh, he's a jumper. Heck yeah. But man, I'm having fun out here today. That is awesome. Chunky little fella. I did work my way back into this creek a few hundred yards. I didn't have any action back there though, so I think I'm gonna go back to that point leading into it where I started and I was getting hit every three or four casts over there, it seemed like. Plenty of action off that point. So we'll go park on that spot for as long as it keeps giving out fish over there. There we go. Something came over and nailed that jerk bait. What do we got here? Oh, that's a nice smallmouth. Finally got one on that jerk bait. Look at what we got here. Come here, bud. Wow, look at that chunky smallmouth. Got him on a rapala. Shadow wrap shad. Little clown colored one there. Jeez, that's a beauty. Awesome fish. What an awesome day it's been. Oh my gosh. Of course, right as I'm swapping batteries in my GoPro, I get a nice thump on my jig. Oh, you come here. That is a beast of a smallmouth. Oh, yeah. Woo! That is what I was hoping to find out here today. Jeez, look at that smallie. Wow. Yeah, right as I was swapping my batteries. <laughs> Gave my jig a nice doink. Quickly got my GoPro on and fought that fish in. Man, it's 18 and a quarter inches. But Jesus, look how thick that bass is. Wow. I don't know, it's tough to decide if that or that first pike I caught is the best fish of the day so far. Hey there. Hello, buddy. Oh, small? No, that's a white bass. Yeah, I will take a white bass. Come here, you. Well, check that out. There's species number four for the day. Man, that is cool. I thought he hit that thing kind of funny. He kind of nibbled at it and then came back for it. pretty 
fish. Well, I think I'm gonna give it one more pass around this point. And it's gonna be time for me to call it a day. We'll see if we can pick up another fish or two. I think we should be able to. Whatever that is, it gave my jig a nice thump. Hoping it's a bass. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, that's a good one too. Thank you. Well, I think that's gonna be the last fish of the day right there. That's a heck of a fish to end the day on though. Oh yeah, he gave that jig a nice thump too. That's always a satisfying feeling. Wow. Man, the smallies out here, they are just so thick. Look at that thing. Well, it's about that time for me to paddle back to my vehicle and call it a day. It's been a lot of fun out here today though. We caught four different species of fish, some real quality fish mixed in there. That pike was a monster, a couple nice mollies and a decent walleye. I had a blast out here today. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.